Hello, Blake Rudis here with F64 Academy and an On One Guru and Plus Coach. What I want to talk about today is On One Photo Raw and the dodging and burning tools because they are absolutely incredible with what you can do in the develop module of On One Photo Raw. Uh, dodging and burning, I think, is probably one of the most important things you can do in every image. It has to be done. It's how we as photographer artists paint with light. Now, of all the tools that I've ever used for dodging and burning, I have to say I'm very partial to On One Photo Raw because what you can do with their tools is absolutely phenomenal. So let's go ahead and jump into On One Photo Raw and I'll show you how we add these subtle differences that are 100% adjustable to your liking for the image that you're working on. So what you're going to find in this tutorial is that Almond One Photo Raw has some serious capabilities for making really great dodge and burn tools. Now I've made dodge and burn tools in Adobe Camera Raw, but they don't really touch the potential of the dodge and burn tools that you can make in Almond One Photo Raw. And that's because in Almond One Photo Raw, in the adjustment, in the local adjustment layers, when you make your own local adjustment layer, you can apply that to only the, lumi only the luminosity and not the color. So when you're doing dodging and burning, you're not going to be affecting the color is just the tones and you can also protect certain areas so that while you're dodging maybe you don't affect anything that's in your shadow areas so what i want you to do if you're in on one photo raw is follow along with me because we're going to build these tools and save them first before i start showing any editing with them okay so what i need you to do is if you're here in develop and you're in the overall settings i need you to go over to local adjustments it should automatically have a new layer here if it doesn't go ahead and press add layer because what we need to do is we need to build our dodge and burn tools. If you look here, there's a lighten tool and a darken tool. And you would think, well, isn't that pretty much the same thing as dodging and burning? Well, let's try it. Let's hit lighten. Well, that's just going to lighten everything by a whole stop. And look at how harsh that is. So that's not quite going to do it. I'm going to press control Z to undo that. So what we need to do first is I'm going to work from the top down. And I'd like you to follow along with me if you have on one photo wall open. Go ahead and click the gear icon. We're going to start by making the opacity about 75%. Not a very strong opacity, not a very weak opacity, right there in between. Blending options, we want to change this to luminosity. And the reason why we change this to luminosity is because any stroke that we do now will affect the tone in the image only and not bring any color along with it. Okay. When we look at apply to, we're not going to hit anything with apply to, but we're building the dodge tool first. So in the shadows, I want you to type 30 here. What that means is that it's going to have a slight protection over the shadows. I don't want it to protect the shadows all the way because I want there to be a natural blend between my highlight areas and some of those shadows. So I want some of those shadows to come along. But I will show you that you can adjust these settings at any time after you make a stroke of your, of your hand, okay? So then right here with the exposure, we're going to bring this to 0.33. So that's an increase of one third of a stop of light in any area that we paint. And then with the highlights, we're going to bring this up to 12. And with the shadows, we're going to bring this up to 12. Before you do anything else, I want you to go right here to where it says more styles and go down to save new style and call this dodge. We're going to dodge first. Okay. Now we can start painting with it. So when I paint right here, look, it's bringing up the highlight areas of the water really naturally and really slowly. And you can see that over there in the corner, it is starting to bring in some of that shadow area, but it's not affecting it very, very harshly. Really, if you look at the deep shadow areas, it's not really going to be bringing up them up too much at all to keep them natural. You can protect them more or less. So if we bring the shadows down, you're going to see that those shadow areas do get a little bit more in them. If we bring this all the way up, you're going to see that this area now back here starts to get protected even more. So as we paint here in this water, you can see that the, the highlights of the water are getting brighter, but the shadowy areas are staying uh, dark, which is exactly what we want when we go from dodging and burning. Okay. Now let's switch gears and let's do the burn tool. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a new layer. And again, don't do any painting with this yet. We're going to hit the gear icon, change this to 75%. We're going to bring this blending option down to luminosity. So it affects our tone and not our color. We're going to bring the highlights up to 30. So our highlights will get a protection of 30. We're going to bring our exposure down to negative 33 so that it gets darker by a third of a stop. We're going to bring our highlights down to negative 12 and our shadows down to negative 12. So we basically just reversed all of our settings that we had with the dodge tool. So now I'm going to go and press more, save new style and save this as burn. Okay. So now when we paint here, if you look at the water, 
we're painting there and some of those highlight areas aren't getting affected very strongly by this burn now there, there is some that that's being uh, taken with them but not very much if we wanted to we could bring the highlights up even higher to protect those highlight areas even more and the really cool thing about this is that if you want to get really intricate with it and say apply only to the shadows and you can dictate how big that range is of those shadows so that it really doesn't affect any of those highlight areas at all. That's more of the advanced intricacies of the things that you can do with on one photo roll with your dodging and burning tools. So now at any time you're free to use these tools. We can go and delete these, add new layer. We go down to more. Look, our burn and our dodge tool are there. Now, one thing that's going to happen here, if I press dodge, I can't rename this adjustment layer. So what I like to do is I like to do dodging first and then burning, just like I say it in my head, dodge and burn. Well, let's do dodge first so that when we add our new layer, which is going to be our burn layer, add a new layer and we select more and go to burn. I know that burn is on the top and dodge is on the bottom and I can start adding depth in my image really quickly with these dodge and burn tools in ways that I just can't do it with Adobe Camera Raw and that's what makes Arm One Photo Raw really powerful in this develop module. The idea here is really not to really get really harsh slider pounding, dodging and burning, okay? We start off really slow and if you wanna modify them at any time, you can. You can even come down here to the exposure and make that exposure darker if you wanted to or increase the, the darkness in the shadows and protect those highlights and make those highlights grow a little bit more within them. So that's where not only are you just dodging and burning, you have dodging and burning with adjustments. So again, my name is Blake Rudis with F64 Academy and F64 Elite. If you like this, please comment, share it, tell a friend, because this is pretty cool stuff that you can do in Almond Photo Raw. Thanks very much for watching. I do appreciate it.